If you violate the law, you subject yourself to prosecution. And I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. Welcome back. In an effort to justify a zero tolerance policy separating immigrants entering the country illegally from their children, Attorney General Jeff Sessions sparked a national debate this week. The administration then doubled down on its stance. Uh, I can say that uh, it is very biblical to enforce the law. Uh, that is actually repeated a number of times throughout the Bible. These people have nothing. They come to the border with nothing, and you throw children in cages. You're a parent. You're a parent of young children. Don't you have any empathy for what they go through? Cardinal Archbishop Daniel DiNardo of Houston, president of the U.S. Conference of Bishops, responded by saying, quote, families are the foundation of our society and must be allowed to stay together. Prominent evangelical leader Franklin Graham has chimed in, calling the policy disgraceful. Panel, what is your point? I'm going to go to Bill King. So I want to talk about this, uh, this passage in Romans that uh, Sessions cited. And there's, I think there's two other that Paul wrote in the epistles. Paul, by the way, was a lawyer, <laughs> so uh, wrote these, sec these sections that said basically, you know, you ought to try to comply with the laws of the land you live in. And look, that's, I mean, that's good advice. We all agree with that. People can't willy-nilly go out and, and decide what laws they're going to violate. But the Scripture also teaches us two other things. One is that there's clearly a limitation to that, and I would cite Acts 5 when Peter was told to stop preaching the gospel, and he said, I obey God, not men. And also, the Bible makes it clear that officials cannot hide behind the law mm -hmm. to do unjust things. And I would cite the 10th chapter of Deuteronomy where it says, Woe to those who use unjust laws to oppress the poor mm -hmm. and deny justice to my people. The GOP. So this mm -hmm. idea that somehow this is a carte blanche, and if you follow it to its logical conclusion, then you have to say things like, God ordained Hitler mm -hmm. to, to, to carry out the Holocaust and that Germans were obligated to to participate in the Holocaust, or better yet, how about the fact that our founding fathers were breaking British law when they declared our independence? What? Okay, yes. hold on, hold, hold on. Now, the best argument I have heard uh, for this law is that, look, here in our country, when people are accused of breaking the law, they do not get to stay with their families. These folks are accused of breaking American law. Jessica, your thoughts here? You know, what is sad is that the children are being used in this way to to break the law and at the end of the day they are being put in a position to use it as the method to break the law and as the excuse to break the law. The bottom line here is that we have a problem, we have laws on the books that need to be followed. We have had a year and a half under this Trump administration with solutions being offered and the Democrats are not coming <laughs> to the table. They are not coming to the table, they are, are obstructing they don't need to. progress. Yeah on proper immigration laws that can advance this. They are not moving the ball forward. They refuse to come to the table. If we could come to the table and discuss this as adults in Washington, <clears throat> then we could get real solutions to hopefully not have these situations. But we have to realize that the children are being put in this position as an excuse to break the law. And that too, that is wrong. And if we could have the Democrats come to the table and begin to discuss real solutions and and real progress for this country, then we can really get somewhere. Okay, but we're, nice. there's so, so, you may, so you may have had the chance to listen to Donald Trump on Thursday or Friday when he said that the, it's the Democrats' fault. So let's talk about this. Why does it have to be the Democrats versus the Republicans when it's about the children? Because they're not. No, no, they're, they're not a part of it. That. They're not Hard. a part of a party. And let's just say this: for every GOP person who has stood up on this stage and said. I cannot believe that these parents would send their children by themselves to the United States alone. How about this? When they're sending their children, they're trying to send their children for a, a price of a better life. So when you now have the adults say, we're not going to let our children travel alone, we will travel with them. But no, the, the Americans will go ahead and separate you. I wish somebody would try to separate me from my kids if I came to another country. So where is the Christian faith in that? What does the Bible say separate the mothers from their children? What does the Bible say follow the law even when the Christians in Nazi Germany were saying that that was the reason why they killed the Jews. Is that, was, it, was it good to follow the law then? That's how they kept slaves down to. Let's call it what it is. It's whenever it's beneficial to you mm. to separate Mexicans from their children, to divide up their families like you divided up black people
believe when you sent black men to jail they're not and left them without, they're Mexicans no, no, and they're, they're from other countries, whatever you want to say. <laughs> anybody that's <laughs> not white, anybody Nyanza, that's tell brown, it, tell it. you can separate because you treat them like animals. You would not treat a white family the same way if they came over here from Syria or if they came over here from France to try to escape. Amen. Come on, now, okay, call amen. Stay on this topic. Meantime, an immigration bill crafted by moderate Republicans yeah. giving Young immigrants known as dreamers, a pathway to citizenship and prohibiting the separation of the families at the border has drawn the president's support. Turns out the measure has $25 billion for the wall on the southwest border and eliminates some so-called lottery programs. Democrats have signaled they will oppose the measure. I'm going to go over here to Marcus Davis to talk about this issue and the one before. So yes. I, I want to make sure that all of the women that are watching this that are headed to church mm -hmm. understand that when you get to the sanctuary, don't open your mouth. Don't say a word. Not me. That's the Bible. That's what the Bible says. It says women should sit in church and be silent. Since we're following the no Bible pants, according no to, se to the sessions, maybe this is what mm -hmm. we should do. And I also want to invite sessions uh, and, and his boss to follow the scripture that says, you know, be faithful. Go out and have some turpentine and play with the rattlesnakes, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. So you're so interested in it. Tudo, kudos to you having your shot of turpentine and, uh, you know, handling the snake. This is complete foolishness. This idea that I've, and, we, and I'm surprised that we're not, we're not upset about this theocracy that right. we're practicing. We, our founding father said that we are not Chip operating separation. out of a religion in this nation. But here we are saying this is why we're doing this to children. But let's, let, let's look at America's history. This is what we do with children. This is what we've done with the Native American, mm -hmm. uh, the Native's children. This is what we did with African American children. Mm -hmm. This is what we did with the Japanese children. This is what right. we do with children in this nation. Right now in this nation, we we are charging children at a historic mm. rate for adult crimes That's while right. they are juvenile. Mm -hmm. This is how we treat Where our we children. Rage. This is how we treat yeah. other children. This is how we treat human beings. Bob Price, mm -hmm. your perspective. Unfortunately, the Attorney General's remarks have distracted from the facts of what's going on at the border, which is a crisis. The, the 10,000 family unit aliens, as the Border Patrol references them, Ill illegally cross the border between ports of entry. If you want to apply for asylum, you walk up to a port of entry, you find the first Customs and Border Protection Officer, and you declare <coughs> your asylum at the port of entry. You don't swim across the river or march across the desert and, and sneak into the country and then uh, try to apply for it. That, that breaks the law. When you break the law, you get prosecuted. The, and uh, President Trump wants this law changed, and the best way to get a bad law changed is to enforce it. Final word on this, Tony. Let's get to the bottom of it. Sessions is a politician. Mm -hmm abusing uh, the Bible phrases from the swamp. Mm -hmm. Here in Texas, as you're watching right now, as you're watching and you're getting ready for church mm -hmm. at St. Leo the Greats, this morning here in Houston, Texas, as you're getting ready for church at St. Patrick's, as you go to church at All Saints, ask the priest if in mm -hmm. fact you can use this scripture to justify separating families and talk about it this week, talk about it next week, and talk about it all the way up into November when we all vote and vote with your hearts. And finally, Sometimes in history class, you hear about the Nazis mm -hmm. or Americans putting Japanese in internment mm -hmm. camps, and you ask That's yourself, right. what you would have done? We're about to find out.